decks together. It's one of the many, the many clunkinesses of Moto. We can't change cards once we get started. It's just too much work. <clears throat> All right. Five color cats. Um, this, like many decks that get submitted here, uh, will probably be okay if we queue into a bunch of fair decks because we've got a lot of grindy stuff and we probably gonna die if we queue into a bunch of Storm and Dredge and other decks that people play in Modern, so. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. Modern, Modern's been tough recently. Been a lot of, been a lot, been a lot of getting beat up. Mana Dorks and Felder Guardians. Seems a little bit medium because we don't have anything to blink for value with the Felder Guardian. And Tron. We do... We do get Tron with some frequency. All right, I mean, that's something fair, right? I'm gonna fetch a breeding pool, cast this Birds of Paradise, and just weep silently when they cast Smallpox next turn. Deal. Let's see if they get another basic swap. If these fetches are just here to enable Fatal Push, or if they have some kind of splash, they do have a splash. My poor little birdie. My poor little birdie. Are you just playing Jund with Raven's Crime? That's interesting. I like that. I like that they've got Tireless Tracker in their deck. Been subscribed to the channel longer than I've held most jobs. Cheers. What's going on, Draven? Thank you for the 11 months. Thanks for shipping those Bezo bucks this way again this month. I appreciate that. Uh, not always, Jackal Girl. Opponent's got a Canyon Slew in their deck, too, so that implies to me that there's probably... There's probably some amount of, uh, there's probably some amount of life from a loom in their deck, if I'd imagine. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this out and just, like, hope they have stone nothing and we have to cast the Sahili and kill them next turn. Hopefully they just like crack a fetch, crack two clues, attack us, and then we untap and kill them. Yeah, I think it's either elves or hardened scales. I'm just gonna play a I'm just gonna play an aggro deck that kills people, I think, so I can like focus on standard for my testing time. That's actually a really good draw. Read. If only I would have subbed one month earlier, would have gotten that sword as a sweet birthday present. Mora said, thank you for the 11 month tier two resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. As always, tier two subs get to bump a deck in the queue each month. So let me know. Let me know what you'd like to bump up and uh, be happy to do that. Thanks for the support. Yeah, I think I am going to, I think weather permitting, I'm going to be in Milwaukee. <clears throat> November in the Midwest, especially up as close to Canada as Milwaukee is, um, you could start getting, start getting in some dangers of like flurries and snow. But I think if the weather is clear, I'm going to head to Milwaukee. It's good to be back, but our tried and true, it's good to be back on our tried and true Excel spreadsheet bits or anything with Holland Fountain. No, I don't have a problem with Canada. It's just cold up there. 
I'm a big, big fan of warmth, chat. Big fan of warmth. I think I'm just bringing in all of my Doom Blades here. It's like my sweeper effects. Discard spells tend to be a little bit medium in a matchup like this. Thrun's probably not good enough here. They don't have counter spells, just like worse than Battle Cattle in terms of stats. I don't think I want Fragmentize, Crumble, or anything like that. Submit. It's probably a punt to not have like a Maelstrom Pulse in the 75 of this deck. Like something is just like a catch all to catch with get with Bring the Light. It just like kills anything. <clears throat> this curve is ugly. That's true. Sure, this curve this curve is not particularly beautiful. What does Christy do for work? I mean, we like where we live overall. We just like don't go outside much in the winter. It's not a big deal. Uh, Christy, Christy's a business analyst for an insurance company. This is uh, one of their one of their major. There's actually hubs for two two large insurance companies in Bloomington where we live. All right, my opponent is Mulligan to five, which means I definitely want to Inquisition them on one. You always always kick a mother down, chat. Always kick a mother down. Um, huh. Take the bolt, I guess. Is Bring to Light Scape Shift the best deck with Bring to Light? Yeah, probably. It's a pretty low bar to hop over, though. Bring to Light's, Bring to Light's one of the many cards that people try to play in modern that's just like, it's it's just very clunky and slow. Modern, modern's a pretty brutal format that's about tempo and resource efficiency. Take, taking the Raging Ravine would definitely have been a line. Unfortunately, my name is Jeff Hoagland and not Alex Bertoncini, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to attempt that line. All right, we're just gonna have a parade of cows here. Just moo cow into moo cow into moo cow. Moo cow, don't bother me. Moo cow, don't bother me. Do 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 It's okay, Jackson. I forgive you. Thanks for taking feedback constructively. I don't. I expect some amount of the decks that I take in to flop. And honestly, like I said in the video, I think. I think when we when we fail on stream and we can learn from it, honestly, it's more valuable than just winning a lot of the time. Like being able being able to like take them and have lessons learned from from coming up short is a big deal. This idea that Wizards of the Coast bans people from playing Magic who don't deserve it is just absurd. Like, there are certain people who are no longer allowed to play Magic that like to, like, incite this idea that, like, Wizards of the Coast is really unfair and you can't be this critical voice and still be allowed to play Magic. But I'm kind of, like, living walking proof that that's not true, right? Like Wizards of the Coast doesn't do me any favors. They don't give me they don't give me preview cards. They don't reach out to me for sponsored streams. But like they they definitely don't ban me from being able to play Magic for being critical of the choices that they make, right? And like as far as like constructive criticism goes, and like being very being very specific and outspoken when they make when they do things that are mistakes, like I'm pretty I'm pretty up there as far as that's concerned. Travis Wu deserved what he got. If you, if you create a space for people to create and spread hate and you choose not to moderate that space, you are responsible for the things that occur within it. That's people, people often ask me why I don't have YouTube comments enabled. The reason why I don't have YouTube comments enabled is because of the amount of hate that gets spewed in YouTube comments. And people have told me, why don't, why don't I just not read the YouTube comments? And I firmly believe that if I'm giving people a space to post on the internet, it is my responsibility to moderate that space. 
So I'm not just going to open YouTube comments and allow people to just post whatever filth they want in them and not moderate it. And I don't get paid enough to moderate YouTube comments. Sorry. Like if people like Tolarian Community College and Saffron Olive get hateful YouTube comments, I can't even imagine how many I would get as someone who's polarizing. Like... Uh, the second two, the second two decks are going to be standard stamp. I'm doing two, two modern decks and then two standard decks. Moderate me, baby. I got you, Beetle. I got you all about, all about that sweet, sweet moderation. Um, what am I supposed to do here? I think it's been the bring to light. I don't know. I actually can't cast the Sahili Ray yet. Yeah, yeah, the website, the website is a fantastic resource for people that are interested in trying to find find modern decks. Tell your tell your friends. They're looking for sweet modern decks, head to the head to jeffoglin.com. My goal was to provide a clear, concise resource for folks. I think we're pretty dead here. I feel like like they have this maelstrom pulse. This Liliana is just gonna continue devouring the cards in my hand. They have life from the loam going, so like the Liliana ticking up doesn't really impact them because they're drawing three cards a turn effectively. Wow, they're just edicting me. Okay, do they have another Liliana then? I have a tech edge now too. Yeah, let's move along. Let's, uh, let's move along. He's the magic equivalent of Mr. Rogers. That's a good that's a good way to put it. And honestly, it's just because like people can be hateful towards anything, really. It's just the society we live in. I'm pretty sure <clears throat> our deck is doing what it's doing for the sake of just like getting a bunch of siege rhino triggers. So they're actually running a little bit behind this morning, so I didn't have time to finish my breakfast off stream. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mute off and on while I eat my cottage cheese. Ah, the 0104 pair up. We have our, our classic Thought Seas Birds of Paradise deck. Way, way more than 80, Scouty. Um, so what do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to go basic forest, birds of paradise. And then next turn I can, they'll probably kill the bird and I can go noble hierarch thought seize next turn. Maybe I'm actually, yeah, I think maybe this is wrong. I'm probably supposed to lead on the noble hierarch because I'd rather the bird live because it fixes my mana better. That's probably the case. I think there's something like five or 600 gifted subs on my channel right now. A bunch of people have started gifting subs to bump decks in the queue and add decks to the queue as opposed to donating or cheering bits, which I personally am fine with. Like, sign sign me up. Me too, tap lands. Because MTG Finance is a bunch of nonsense. It's a bunch of people trying to make magic more expensive for the people that actually want to play it. Get out of get out of the MTG stock market and go go do it go do some actual finance. Stop making our lives harder. Uh, Languish is better against Selfless Spirit. 
It's better against Meddling Mage on Damnation. And it's better It's better when you have a 5 toughness creature and they have creatures with less than 5 toughness. So Languish in the Black Green deck is basically there because it's effectively Plague Wind. It kills all of your opponent's stuff usually and then doesn't kill your stuff. Any idea on your percentage of gifted subs that can do it? I don't actually know, Thumped. I'm, I, might re I might reach out to my... Uh, I might reach out to my Twitch rep and find out if that's uh, that's a metric I have access to, because that is that is an interesting metric to like have have data on, right? And that's probably one that I should get information on, but if I'm going to continue to allow people to give subs, part part of me part of me also wonders if we can clip the three. <laughs> so like with all the gifted subs, I've been floating around two thousand subscribers for a while, and with the flurry of gifted subs, we're actually at almost twenty nine hundred sub points at the moment. So I wonder, I wonder if we could clip past 3,000 and get a 35th emote before all the sub gifts fall off. Because I assume most of the sub gifts are going to fall off at some point. Our gifted subs usually random. The bulk sub gifts are random. There are individual sub gifts that are, um, that are specific though. Tumos, thank you for the 38 months. That's such a long time. You've seen a lot. You've been through spell stutter sprites and hex TCG and moto and arena. There's been this channel's changed, evolved it a lot. Welcome. Thanks for supporting the growth that turned into Hooglandia. More regular viewers have a higher chance of getting a random sub. Oh, that's good to know. Definitely, definitely not, Chris. That's actually smart on Twitch's part. Makes a lot of sense. Felidar! Felidar! Okie doke. So we're just like dead? I assume we're dead. Cam Will, thank you for the nine month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Here's a dirty secret, Tumos. There were a lot of people that didn't watch Hex. It's one of the reasons why the game died. You are close to the knighthood. That's true. Yeah, I mean, even if it is just 5 to 10%, though, Scouty, that's just like an extra return on like money that people are going to give me, anyways, right? There's a little bit higher percentage that I lose on a sub gift versus a straight donation, but. So that uh, that's one card too late because they're going to attack and kill my Sahili right here. Um, when you are on the desktop computer, when you click the where the subscribe button would normally be if you're not subscribed, if you click on that, I believe it says gift sub now. You can click on it and it should drop down and it should give you options to upgrade your sub or gift subs. And I basically give points for sub gifting subs at the same rate as if you were donating that money. So gifting a sub is is four ninety nine. So if you gift one sub, I give you five points to bump a deck in the queue. It's probably a Leyline of Sanctity matchup. It's probably what's supposed to happen. They're a discard deck. I probably should have done this last match, actually. Bring in the Ley Lines. You can do it on mobile, but it's a pain in the butt. Okay, fair. But yeah, so if you're interested in donating to me, at least for the next the next little bit, you should consider gifting subs instead so we could try and put me up over the, th the 3,000 marker. First sub points to get, get extra emotes. I actually have a 34th emote I need to add to the channel at some point when I get a good idea. I think we're gonna do a, I think we're gonna do a buy friends emote. That's a fun idea. Say that enough. So, while bring to light can get caught in your hand like it did last game, at any point where you have five mana in play, Bring the Light's kind of the best draw in your deck, right? Because it gets you whatever you want. Yep. We've got, uh... <laughs> Great minds, Bulletproof Pope.
Yes, you can. Basic potato. I'll get those added after the stream. The, the salad emote is a really convoluted story. So sit down and listen about one of the young moments of Hoaglandia. So in the Hoaglandia subscriber discord, we have a channel called The Salad Bar. And the reason why it's called The Salad Bar is because once upon a time when we originally created it, it was called The Salty Sweet. Because if you've ever been in a magic chat room, like people complain about bad beats and stuff all the time, right? So we wanted, we wanted a channel to centralize where people could like needlessly complain about bad beats because who doesn't love a bad beat story? And people who wanted to not hear bad beats could easily mute it. But Discord doesn't have a salt emote. And when you type S-A-L into the Discord emote autocomplete, salad is the only thing close to salt in terms of food that comes up. So we started using the salad emote in the subs Discord to mean salt. And then Twitch doesn't have a salad emote. So the, the coming of the salad emote to here was to bring some unison between, between the two. Also, Marty's gifted like almost 200 subs, so that's like an emote all on his own. So he really wanted a salad emote, so I finally gave it to him. All right, HKS Battle Cattle this turn. Healthy eating, yep. Why is Rainbow Lich today if it's only at 10 points? Because I felt like a lot of the decks we had in the standard queue didn't qualify as memes. I wanted to play some standard decks today. It's modern. Modern's been beating me up a little bit lately. So rather than rather than be rather than have some salad. Did you know you can't gift subs while you're timed out? I did not know that actually. Mm, maybe I should have gotten another white source for this Wrath of God. And here I was thinking the room. The room was for people like me who like eating healthy. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, really pretty sad that I didn't, uh, I didn't get double white here. That was a pretty big mistake. Excellent. Can cast my Birds of Paradise to enable my Wrath of God. It's just good, clean living. And this game, this game is a really good example. Someone earlier asked about cutting, bring to light in a matchup like this. And this game is a great example of why you shouldn't cut threats against the discard decks, because you, you'll often get to positions like this where you just want, wow, they've cast out in their deck still while they're playing Assassin's Trophy. Interesting. Um, where you just like want all of your top decks to be as live as possible. It's possible that I should have played this out proactively, but like if I played it out on two and then they drew a tracker, or I played it out on three and then they drew, you know, uh, a different casting cost card, it'd have, been, it'd have been sad. I think it's just getting swag dead. Oh, we discarded Thrag Tusk earlier. That's sad. All right, more Siege right now. More, more Moo Cow. Battle Cattle, I choose you. 
Get in there. Send him. Send him a message, chat. Let him know what's up. Let's get in there with our big bad birds of paradise. We have a bunch of lethal draws here. That is, uh, this is not one of them. It's a big boy. Lightning Helix. That's not that's not the, the lightning helix attacks to a four or five that I wanted. You know what would be the absolute best part about a new non-rotating format? Is I would I would no longer feel the need to interact with people who want to tell me that things like Splinter Twin and Birthing Pod and Stoneforge are too good for modern. Because I just I'd just be off playing this other thing instead of instead of feeling the desire to interact with people who are just not bright. Like but Matron Land, look at that! Look at that. One of the many lightning helixes in our deck. Blink, blink lightning helix. Yeah, did you? Look at that chat. We're on the we're on the scoreboard, chat. I'm I'm say, I'm saying there's a chance. Is all is all I'm saying. All I'm saying is I'm saying is there's a chance. Can we force a deck on Meme Monday? Does it? I mean, if it's a meme, of course. What are you What are you What are you interested in forcing, Salt? Uh, we need a good chunk of subs for the next emote. It's like 100, 110, or we're pretty far off. And also, it'll be interesting to see if we can manage to get there before Admiral's gifts from earlier this month wear off. Yep. Okay. Bant Coco with Scab Ruinator. Yeah, that would qualify for today if you wanted to cut it in salt block. I'm down. I'm down with the scob. It is $100 to cut the line, though. So keep in mind it is cheaper to add it if you'd like it to be planned on a different day. But that would be that would be welcome to cut in today. Yeah, of course, Bridge Vine still counts as a meme. Have you seen that deck? I mean, that's like a meme that doesn't make me sad because it's actually good. Memes don't have to be bad. See, that was, I feel like that's part of the problem with Meme Monday. I've accepted too many things and, like, too many people, like, took meaning to mean just, like, a meme deck is just a bad deck that they want to play. And that's not how it works. Meme decks are supposed to be doing something sweet. Where do I get paper cards for tournaments? When I buy cards, I usually use one of the big vendors. I don't like to deal with, like fakes or bad quality stocks so like cool stuff star city stuff like that I usually check csi first because their prices are pretty good on stuff and i get to use my discount code there no pons accounts is boring and terrible Am I going to stream Warhammer again? Yeah, at some point. I was thinking maybe Thursday I would do a Warhammer stream. We'll see. I don't know. While, while I'm enjoying Standard, I don't know that, like, like, I was using Warhammer to, like, supplement my other content. And I've really been enjoying Standard. I might I might cool it on do, potentially doing, yeah, nice Inquisition. I might wait to do more Warhammer until their second set drops because their second set is going to happen. Uh, in November, I think they said. 
Because some of their some of their archetypes lack a little bit of depth because there's only one set their, their format right now. I do really like the game and their designs though. I fell in love with blue red counter burn. And I'm high on the card that counts. Can we get blue red Drake's deck in the standard queue again? I will DM a list if needed. I submitted it in the forum last week and you approved it. Yeah, can you DM me the list screen? Ideally, you should put the deck list that I approved linked in the donation comment. So that way it, it helps me track it so I know which money's going for which deck list when we're adding a new deck. I don't need double blue. I need double white. I need black mana, so let's get this. When should I expect a spot response for a donation request if I sent it early this morning? I think I responded to the one I got this morning. No, I didn't. Oh, Grixis Phoenix. Uh... I really just don't think Risk Factor does anything for that deck per se. Just like thinking back on the games that we played, I feel like it's not working to solve issues that the deck has. I was pretty happy with the rest in the deck, honestly. The sun isn't even out on the West Coast yet. The things I do for love. Thank you for the nine months, Mars. Welcome back. Are your jesters exploding into money? I never noticed that particular. I believe they're cards. They should be cards. They don't have another thread here. We're in a pretty good spot. Would I take Popper donation decks? No, Popper is just not very popular. I play off formats for very large donations, like a hundred dollar donation, but but in general, I uh, I don't do I don't do Popper just because like the the viewer count isn't particularly high. Salt block with the very generous line cut donation. Scab them up, Jeff. Can you uh, message me a deck list? Can you message me a deck list? It doesn't look like you linked one in the in the donation comment. What's your favorite version of Linux and why is it Gen 2? Gen 2... Gen 2 is... Gen 2 is two days of my undergrad that I will never get back trying to install it. Modern is basically playing with a bunch of $20 bills. It's adorable that you think you can play modern with $20 cards. Baron Bounty, is it allowed to speak about the sexual harassment rumors from the STG player? I have a comment on that here. Just keep it, keep it at that. Thank you, Salt Block. Bant Company. Do 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 do. All right. So what am I doing here? I think I'm gonna attack with Siege Rhino to see if they have, uh, or sorry, attack with Drag Test to see if they have removal spell here. I could like Sahili down tick, try and target the, the Drag Test, but like if they have a Doom Blade, I get sad, which they do. So now I just go get a land here and then I will bring to light for a Siege Rhino here and then we'll eventually just like have a parade of Rhinos. Crazy Ship, thank you for the 14 month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. There's going to be a parade of moo cows from here on out. Thought sees. Yep. In a way, I have two Siege Rhinos in my hand, so this Thought Seize is whatever. What a tilt. What a tilt. 
I am so happy that this will be the last format that has these cards in it. All of our fun has died. All of our fun has died. <laughs> it really, I think it speaks volumes to the number of offensive things that happen in modern that like thought sees and um, Inquisition aren't considered offensive just because, like, they're less offensive than the other things that occur in the format. Sequencing why should the opponent not have cast Thought Seize first there? No, I don't think so, Scouty, because my opponent, um, if they saw, like, land three mana spell, then they would, um, if they saw land three mana spell, then they wouldn't need to cast the Thought Seize and lose the health. Maybe, maybe Bob will kill them. That's fine though, EGH. The po the power level and like tempo difference between a two mana a two mana discard spell and a one mana discard spell is huge. Duress Duress is also a card that you could like choose to play around by building your deck differently. It's actually Tribal Flames is an interesting comment, right? Honestly, maybe this deck is just better if it's just like doesn't have the cat combo and it just like has a bunch of burns, just like Siege Rhinos and Tribal Flames. I wonder if they'll edict themselves here or Fatal Push their own Bob. I feel like they're supposed to kill their Dark Confidant here. Confidant. Go, 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 Gadget Confidant. You are my, you are my only hope. Uh, am I dead on board? I am dead on board. Uh, no, uh, this is four, nine, twelve. Any land leaves me dead. Dead to a land. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of siege riders to draw to kill them here. I unfortunately did not find any. Yeah, we're, we're dead to a land, right? Because this is five, five, and then three there once they edict me off of this. Uh, there's 15, there's 15 turn one green sources in this deck that I was laying, so that seems fine. Salt block, my only comment on your, on your band company deck that you submitted, are you attached to these eerie interludes? I really think your creature count's a little bit low because you have Vile, Company, and Path. I think I would prefer two more, two more creatures over Eerie Interlude to up the consistency a little bit. Does Cat Combo or 60 Rhino deck? The answer is yes. Yes is the answer to your question. I forgot to plug my phone and my tablet in. My tablet's charged at least. <laughs> You're not wrong, Wallaby. You're not wrong. Uh, I accidentally le left my phone unplugged last night. I'm gonna run upstairs and plug my phone in really quick. I'll be right back, sorry.
All right, sorry about that. Hey, Theorist, thank you for the four month three sub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I got beat up by the green black decks because of their ability to consistently pressure me while also being able to permanently remove my Phoenix with Contempt and gain life with Walker. Wanted to put work in the board for that matchup. Maybe I'm playing them wrong. Well, I, I, like, I don't understand like what your, like I don't think Risk Factor solves any of the issues that that matchup has. Like Risk Factor isn't a card I really want against green black in that deck. I think that's just an aversion to change. It's it's scary when things are different. A friendly try hard. Thank you for the five month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. And a Captain Jack. Thanks for you up for the fifth month in a row as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because like like you said, I agree that like Wild Growth Walker is kind of the card that beats you up in that matchup. Excuse me. And um you want I'd want more ways to kill that because you can't really burn them out with risk factor through wild growth walker honestly for the green black matchup maybe thought erasure is worth testing because it can take things like wild growth walker but it also um it also can take things like Frasca's contempt which is nice because like you don't want duress against green black but you might you might want thought erasure because it's flexible unknown stuber thank you for the eight month three sub I appreciate that welcome back Thanks for keeping me employed here. Forgotten Glory with that brand new tier one sub. Welcome. Uh, blue Red Bill got bumped from the docket for today. We had to cut the line for a Scab Ruinator Bank Company deck. They'll never expect the turn three Supreme Verdict out of the Noble Hierarch deck. Lava Coil's good, Red Mage Rank. We had, we had three of those in the sideboard by the end of the last time we played it. I think that card's fine. It's another, it's another good way to kill the, uh, the Wild Growth Walker. I, I am excited to get Thoughtseize next turn. And by excited, I mean sad, but expected. Uh, we didn't play the bird because I'm going to cast Supreme Verdict next turn. God. God bless us, everyone. Our one of Supreme Verdict could maybe, could maybe save us. I feel like there should be red flags going off in my opponent's head right now because they saw Birds of Paradise off of this and I didn't cast it. They never, they never suspect the old Noble Hierarch Supreme Verdict deck chat. Gets them, gets them every time. I mean, they can't counter Supreme Verdict. It's not, that one's not an option. They could, they could try, but they can't, they can't do it. That one's one turn late, friendo.
I think making rare lands directly purchasable would avoid some of the wild card issues on Arena. I mean, you can buy wild cards, so in a way, they're directly purchasable. You get you get guaranteed. I think the easiest fix to the, the wild card bottleneck or whatever you want to call it is just let people convert worse wild cards into better wild cards. Let, let people turn, you know, 10 or 20 uncommons into a rare. It's just like the easiest quick fix. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to to three here because if they have lightning bolt, I can't combo them anyways. So if they have lightning bolt, I don't really have a chance to win the game. So I might as well just die to it. A hundred to a rare? I don't know. A hundred seems obscene. I technically got some draws here. I mean, ideally you should be able to convert them in either direction, I think. I think, I think you should be able to convert them, convert them 10 to one in the upward direction. All right, well in the event that my opponent has stone cold nothing, we get to kill them next turn. All right, show me that fat stubby D opponent. Should have, should have thought Siege first with the real MVP line. Not. It's funny because it's sad. Did I need to fetch last turn? Yep. We're about to be 03 and move along with our life, Beetle. No, not really. I'm just like black and green. The Chilling Cloak. Thank you very much for that brand new Prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. Exemplar of Justice. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I have a comment on the Todd situation. It's right there. My weekend, my weekend was all right. I actually had a lot of fun. Christy and I started looking at looking at houses over the weekend, so it was actually a lot of fun looking at different things. Declan was really funny. He really liked he really liked going in and looking at lots of different houses. We won a game. We did not win a match. Do we only do modern? No, I'm gonna be switching to arena later. Normally I was only doing modern, but modern's just been brutal. Modern's just been brutal lately. I need to be, I think I need to be more selective about the decks that I'm taking moving forward, which is just what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start selecting things that are moderately more competitive than the clunky piles of mess. It's like getting beat up for... I I feel bad when I just get beat up for three matches in a row because it's just like, well, I feel like I made their deck look disappointing 
and then like it wasn't good TV to watch, and I didn't have fun. It's just like a lose, lose, lose all around. Yeah, Arena is a plus fantastic. I am gonna be doing more and more Arena content as we move forward. I still have a bunch of modern decks in the queue, so we're not gonna get rid of modern altogether, but we're gonna be doing more standard and more arena moving forward for sure. Just far more popular. Yeah, modern is okay, but standard is great is a great way to have it. I don't know, Scholar. It depends on what it is. What do you what do you have? Link me. Link me now. Gosh, I'm so pumped for the possibility of a new non-rotating format. That sounds so fantastic. No, I haven't had anybody reach out about helping me get the Deckmaster extension set up. The person that wrote the extension said they'd probably have time in December to help me get it working. So... If they if they if they don't come through in December, I'll probably just break down and get another hard drive. But like it's not just like buying an SSD in Windows that I have to do, it's just like it's also like two days of my time to like reset all my stuff up. So my time is valuable. Uh, you know Woodland Bellower can't get Phantasmal Images, Civilized Scholar, right? Are you, are you aware of that? Oh, you have, I, there's a Painter Servant. Okay, I've got you. So te technically you could, you could do a lot of work to set it up. I'm gonna... All right, if you wanna ship a cool Benjamin to watch me O3 with that, I'll take your money to O3 with it. Who am I, who am I to say no to dollar redos? But I, I want you to know that I have low expectations going in. My poor mana creatures, chat. Once he flips, he can target any creature in the bin on Arena. I haven't been able to target my opponents. If you look on the left side, Red Mage Frank, when you have things that can target either graveyard, there's buttons to switch between your graveyard and your opponent's graveyard. If you look on the interface. Yeah, I shocked there because if they play a threat this turn, I want to path to exile it. Except for that one. That one I can't path to exile. I, the actual answer is I should have played the Windswept Teeth because um, I could have fetched an, a Godless Shrine untapped that way. And this way I kind of just like shocked needlessly when I didn't path. When I didn't have anything to path. So I should have played the Windswept I'm two health lower than I otherwise should be or could be because of my sequencing. Thanks for getting me hooked on Arena. It's been great, fun, and affordable. Thank you, DMS, for the 10 month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for the support. That's true. This is the better Liliana for us in this position. Gregor, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub there. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here with that. Looting resolves. My wife thinks I joined 
And I'm lying to Chino, she doesn't believe I get to play games for free. Double get whatever deck I wanted in standard. You mean like to own the entire standard format or to own one specific de deck, Dr. Leppy? To own all of standard, I think it's about a grand. I've put about a grand and I have most everything on there. All of standards. I think it's about a thousand for the four sets. I need to load up one of those those collection tracking tools again since I put in the last couple hundred and see how complete my collection is. I probably am missing some mythics, but... Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and cast this ley line here rather than play the bring to light because it's pretty likely my opponent has a stubborn denial in their hand and i'd rather they don't uh they don't get to soft stub my bring to light would 50 dollars get me a build around where you attempt to find the best possible shell for seed rhino in modern yeah yeah i think i think seed rhino is borderline modern playable i would do that as a build around brennan I think I can. I think I can make something moderately competitive around Dr. Siegeman or Rhinoceros. And if you do decide to do that and you want to dole out the 50 as sub gifts, as 10 sub gifts, I would, uh, I'd appreciate that. Try and jump up over the, uh, that last, that 3,000 mark before, before some of the sub gifts fall off. What's going on, Wolfang? 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 Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. No worries. I'll be. I'm gonna be here. Believe it or not. I'm gonna be here. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, Doctor Leppy. Thanks for the brand new tier one sub. Good morning. Welcome. You actually have a sub currently, is it over, bro? You got that, got that sweet, sweet shovel next to your name. You have a mind sculptor in their deck, okay? Throng, uh, thank you for the seven month three subscription there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. We're about a hundred subs away from three k. We're still, still a good bet. But if I if I convince enough people to turn all their normal donations between now and when they run out into those, we could maybe get there. I assume I'm gonna get stubbed here. Really? Okay. That's good for us. SCTR doling out the sub gift to Roonies. Thank you for the support. I haven't forgotten about Black Green SCTR. It's in there, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna get to it. I promise. Probably tomorrow. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. So this Rhino's a four five. Do I want to just attack them, or do I want to kill the last hope? I think I want to kill the last hope here. Uh, Arena can be free to play if you want it to be. I have no idea how quickly free to play translates into getting cards though. Cause I, uh, I'm a whale. I just give the money to build the decks that I want. I do this, I do this as my job and like playing constructed as my job. So I don't have time to grind. Well, I don't even think that, like, Rhino in general is terrible in Modern. I think a big part of the issue with, like, this deck is that, like, this deck has surrounded Siege Rhino with other cards that also aren't super efficient. So, like, you need to be, you need to be efficient somewhere, basically, is what it comes down to. And this deck really isn't efficient anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty off it. <sighs> I 
Civilized Scholar, did you want to cut in the blue-green Bellower deck? I'm gonna be getting cards for something else here momentarily, so I can get those at the same time. If not, no worries, I'm happy to do standard after, after we do the Bant Company deck. Just uh, let me know. Yeah, the dismember. Dismember was rough no matter how we sliced it. Um. Yeah, I don't like. I'm just gonna give the typical wrap up that I give a lot of the time. Um. You. This deck is kind of clunky and awkward, and it doesn't have a lot of efficiency in it. Another big problem with this deck that we experienced in. Uh, there were two scobs in the list salt block. Can I, I could just, can I play more scobs instead of the, the blink card? I think your list is a little bit light on creatures for collecting company. And like one of the other things to think about in this deck list is that while there's only 23 lands, there's eight mana dorks, which means this deck has 31 mana sources in it, which means while it looked like we flooded a lot, I think we flooded a proportional amount of time. Like this deck is over half mana. So I think... Modern's a pretty fast and brutal format, and uh, a deck with this much clunk and this little interaction just isn't isn't gonna cut it. Just what it comes down to, unfortunately. If you wanna play, if you wanna play clunky mid-range decks like this, I'd recommend standard.